All right, folks, so today Garmin is officially announcing the availability of their FDA cleared ECG app for the Epix Pro, the Phoenix 7 Pro, as well as the Venue 3 for users in the US. So what you'll be able to do with this new app is that you'll now be able to take an on-demand ECG or electrocardiogram recording of your heart rhythm, which it then analyzes to check for signs of AFib or atrial fibrillation. And you'll also be able to log this data in the Garmin Connect smartphone app, where you can even export this data via PDF to give to your doctor. And if you're wondering why this functionality wasn't advertised when the Phoenix 7 Pro, Epix Pro, or Venue 3 were first announced, it was due to the fact that it required regulatory approval before it could be made live. The hardware and these devices supported it, but they needed to get that approval first, which is the same as the Venue 2 Plus. But what is great is that it's adding a highly requested feature to those of you out there who own one of these watches, which extends the health functionality even further. Anyhow, for how this works, you'll need to be running the latest software on your Epix Pro, Phoenix 7 Pro, or Venue 3, and we are specifically talking about these watches where these have the necessary hardware. And then you also need to make sure that you're running the latest version of the Garmin Connect smartphone app. Now this feature actually won't just automatically show up on your watch after you update both your watch as well as Garmin Connect. You'll actually need to set this up in Garmin Connect first to enable this feature. So in the Garmin Connect app, you'll want to go into your device settings and there should be a menu item here that says complete setup and then set up the ECG app. So first it has a brief explainer of the functionality and then on the bottom you can get started. So from here, it'll ask you to enter your birthday and you'll need to be at least 22 years old to use it. And another thing is that you'll also need to enable two-step verification for your account just to add an additional layer of security. And then next is a more in-depth explainer and tutorial of how it works and what it can and can't do. It explains what a heart rhythm is, what an atrial fibrillation is, symptoms of AFib, limitations such as if your heart rate is too high or too low when you take the reading, how to interpret inconclusive results, as well as reiterating that this is checking for signs and is not a diagnosis. And then finally, just going over all those things again, just to be clear about the functionality and limitations. And then after you've done that, it'll prompt you to launch the ECG app on your compatible watch, and it should just automatically pop up. So it then gives you instructions on how to actually take the reading. So making sure that your watch is snug on the same wrist that you chose during setup. So this would be in your user settings of the watch. And then from there, it'll prompt you to sit comfortably, rest your arm on the table and keep still. Then just go ahead and place your thumb and your index finger on the metal ring or bezel to start, and it'll start to acquire the signal. And then it takes about 30 seconds to complete the recording. After it's complete, it'll provide the results and whether or not it detected signs of AFib and another message regarding how it's not designed to detect heart attacks. And then finally, you'll also be able to log any symptoms if you are experiencing any and more information about your reading. And at that point, the setup is complete. Now you can go ahead and view those results in the Garmin Connect app where it gives you more information as well as the ability to export this data via PDF to send to your medical professional. And in terms of how you access the ECG app again, on your Epix Pro and the Phoenix 7 Pro, it should just be added to the bottom of the list of your activity profiles and apps just by pressing the upper right hand button and then just scrolling up a few presses. And then on the Venue 3, when you press the upper right hand button, it should just be available under the list of apps right here on the right hand side. But if it isn't there for some reason, just go ahead and scroll to the bottom, press edit, and then you can add it to your list of available apps. And it's basically as simple as that. ECG functionality for your Phoenix 7 Pro, Epix Pro, or the Venue 3. It's basically this kind of bonus feature that you get now with your watch. And today's announcement is for the US and there's no mention of other regions right now, but again, it requires regulatory approval. So unfortunately not guaranteed anywhere else at the moment. Anyhow, if you found the information in this video to be useful, do me a favor and just quickly hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel for plenty more sports tech videos that are coming soon. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.